Hello and welcome to today's news in brief on Graphic Online. In the headlines, former finance minister Setek commends comments for reduction in power tariffs. Former VRA boss Charles Rekubrobe questions government's capacity to reduce electricity tariffs. Education Coalition questions setup of education fund to support free SHS program and Ola College of Education students demonstrate over teacher strike. Former Finance Minister Mr. Seth Tepe has commended government for taking steps to review electricity tariffs downwards. According to Mr. Tepe, although there were ongoing efforts by the Mahama-led administration to reduce the cost of electricity, it was worth commending the Ekufuadu government for actualizing it. Um, I think we should also give some compliments and credit where it is due because it involves, as I said, a lot of work. I know some renegotiations were done and I know some you know, uh, work was done. Okay, so credit to the government for that. You know, yes. what? The Minister of Finance, Mr. Ken Uforiata, announced on Wednesday that government has recommended to the Public Utilities and Regulatory Commission, PURC, to review the tariffing setting methodology and cost structure of power production in the country. But a former Chief Executive Officer of the Volta River Authority, VRA, Dr. Charles Rekubrobe, has described the recommendation as inappropriate since government has no role in determining the cost of power. He says such tax lies solely with the PURC. And it's not up to government to feel that I have seen the tariff setting mechanism and I've collaborated with three parties in the two and all of that. That is truly no government business. The Ghana National Education Campaign Coalition has questioned the need for a voluntary education fund to support the government's VSHS program. Chairman of the coalition, Mr. Bright Appiah, believes that the setting up of the fund would not solve the challenges facing the free SHS program. He is therefore suggested that government should harmonize existing scholarship schemes and exclude beneficiary students from the free SHS program. If government is calling for a fund where it could be a voluntary contribution, then it's also raising some kind of uncertainty in terms of how government is harmonizing some of these scholarships that are said already and how it can feed into the larger uh, policy scheme in running the senior high school and all that. So, indeed, if you look at the sources that government has also announced in terms of supporting the free SHS, there's a gap. And that, for me, uh, government is trying to introduce this to fill out the gap. But we have to be clear. Students of the Ola College of Education in Cape Coast today embarked on a demonstration to back the strike action of the Colleges of Education Teachers Association of Ghana. The teachers have been on strike since November 2 over unpaid salary arrears. With red armbands and chanting songs, the students appeal to government to, as a matter of urgency, work to pay the teachers their outstanding arrears since the strike action had affected their studies. For more news, Log on to Graphic Online, follow us on Twitter at GraphicGH and on Facebook at Daily Graphic Ghana.